the first books I read. Thousand Faces of God. All the faces on here, out of all the faces on here, you only got one face that's black. And the question remains is, how come we never want to learn about what the black face had to say about the creation and the concepts and the information surrounding things that they call scarred or sacred? That was written by Rebecca Hind. We got Uba Tashaka, the return to the African mother principle of male and female equality. Value one, Uba Tashaka. Excellent book, also talks about the great mother. Mankind Search for God, Jill Witnesses. Excellent book. The question is, Jill Witnesses, how come you're taught not to read other people's material? When in fact, for them to even have to write this book, they had to read other people's material. It's amazing how they just destroy our black minds. How they say Jill Witnesses don't care what color Jesus is. Don't care about what the prophets look like. But all their pictures show them as being white boys. I don't get that. That's racism. Well, get the book and read it. They give it to you free. The Teachings of Tahotep, the oldest book in the world, by Asa Hilly, Great Ancestor, and Larry Williams, and Nia Damali, Editors. Black World Press. Excellent book. Didn't get to read out of here, but this is a good U.S. news magazine, Scar Places. It talks about the, the, one, of the great, one of the greatest scar places or sacred places. Sacred places, right? And the first place they show you, sacred places right here. So this was sacred to you. This is in Africa. Sacred places. How come? Whenever they speak of sacred places, they speak of this as being mythology and being of, of the peasants. How come if you can go to Barnes and Nobles or Borders, spend a day there, right? Look at the mythological section, spend an hour there, and spend an hour in the religious section, and they say the same exact things. How come they classify one as being mythology and one as being true in religion? How come the mythology section contains all the black information? How come they major information, mythology, and paganism? And name that information which it came from the word of God and the true sacred religion. Why? Ask yourself that. But in this book, in this little Time Life magazine, right? The ancients, right? The time and tribute to the gods, right? This you, they start off with you, because this is the oldest, the Karnak. They start off with Karnak and speaks of the temple. Right, and then it speaks of, it says, Karnak, uh, it's, it's the largest, of, it says, we call, let me see, the most selective places over the course of two millennium, it was enlarged at, and enriched by consecutive pharaohs until it comprised of 247 acres of Nile East Bank, centered on the Temple of Amun, right? Within Karnak, precincts were, uh, Administrative offices, treasuries, palaces, uh, uh, bakeries, um, breweries, granaries, and schools supported by uh, the renewal from royal land endowments. Connect was, right? Uh, economic power. That's deep. That, the, your temples were really schools. It tells you in Time Life magazine. Places of education, you weren't just sitting there rocking back and forth praying to nothing. You had a lot of things to do. It's the largest sub, such complex in the world in Africa. How come you turn away? How come they say this information is against you? If I go to the destruction of the book, Black uh, Civilization, he explains that. He explains how if we go back to contact right now, Father, we go back 5,000, we'll see stuff that was more ancient. So this is nothing. This is standing on the grounds of temples is more ancient and more, or more sacred. 
And then they go on to the rest of the stuff. They go to the Christian site. You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the Muhammad, Abraham, they, all that stuff. All, but that's the stuff we follow now. But none of it looks like you. My whole thing is, why are we scared of our image? Of our likeness? How can we follow these white images? They showing you that. Hell, they don't show you no, no people right here because they would have to show you black Africans. It's amazing. Get a magazine, get that. Go on the internet and run it back up. Wild Seas Burgess, an Egyptian Howard Dictionary, Value 1. Value 2. Everything looking pretty dark and melanated to me. Wild Seas Burgess, Value 1 and Value 2. Go look up some African words and find out what's going on. Find some of the religious, spiritual concept words, define them, and how good they National Geographic, Volcano Gods. It tripped me out when I was reading the Bible and seeing they were really talking about the Volcano God. National Geographic. The Book of the Beginnings by Gerald Massey. I challenge any Hebrew, Israelite, Muslim, Jew to read these two books. I challenge you to read these two books because after you read these two books, you'll no longer play that crazy Hebrew card. I'm not crazy. You're reading one book. The Africans had thousands and thousands of books. But written by Gerald Massey. Gives you the whole piece on how they took it, why they took it. Gives you all this, the, the, the information on the signs and the symbols and the whole thing. Also a good book for you to get is a Primordial Sign and Symbol by Albert Turkswood. Wallace E. Burgess, uh, The Gods of the Egyptians. Explains what the gods meant, how he was, the pictures of the gods, the whole nine yards. Make me see. He even had a... This was a little one color. Oh, he had it. They even give you the judgment scene in color. We talked about that, where they took their core system from, where they took the day of judgment from. How the two women always back God and all that. How Jesus is the way, the truth, and like the whole concept is right here. Everything. The book of life, the documentation, the writing in the book of life. All that. Get the book. Cost me like $10. Hmm. Cosmic, the great cosmic mother. Soju and Barbara Moore. It's a deep book. Just an idea of the afterlife. Wild Z Burgess. The Hosea by Karenga. Very important book. Translates our ancient divine scriptures. Need that. Get that. Read that. See where all your concepts came from. See where they stole it from. Not give you credit. I already did that L's Holy Torah by Malachi York. Have you seen that already? All right, you got the, the African origins of religion, African origins of civilization, religion, yoga, mysticism, ethnic philosophy by Muta Ashby, right? You see on my right side, I got the blueprint for black power. Uh, the moral, political, and economic uh, imperative for the 25th Century by Amos Wilson. So if you read that book, right? Read that book. <laughs> read this book. You got your two Bibles right here. You know what I'm saying? You can say you got your Quran and you say you got your Old New Testament right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If black people read these and studied these like they did the Quran and the, and the Torah, and then I guarantee you would not be in the situation we're in now. I guarantee because it would change and redirect the things that you're doing in your actions. You would learn to teach your children a certain way. I guarantee you we would start to build, right, a blueprint for black power. We would start to build a new civilization. Then you would understand what it did to you in here. And after understanding what they did to you here, how they did it and why they did it, Right? And then after you figure that out, then you know it's something you got to do. And they tell you what it is you got to do and how it is you got to do it. And they give you the blueprint. The Bible ain't even a